right, guys, welcome. This is our uh, city council meeting for the month of March, March the 10th. And if you've noticed anything tonight, tonight was the first night we went live on Facebook, internet, everything you can see. What great facilities tonight. It's really been great tonight to be able to come in here to the new facilities and really give us a place that our citizens can come and sit and watch it, or you can watch it in the comfort of your home. The first kind of deal I want to talk about is the Public Procurement Month. This is Public Procurement Month. That's very important right now for a growing city. You know, we've got to be fiscally responsible with our taxpayers' money. And having a true procurement department, they can go out and get the best prices like we did on this council chambers here, to where we'd be able to get good pricing on chairs and construction. So we honored our procurement department tonight because the whole month we want people to recognize how important their job is. The second thing that was kind of cool now is the elevated storage tank been a lot of buzz about this over the years of what are we going to do with that water tower downtown? Well, if you notice, we light it up on different occasions, whether it's it's cancer it's for a cancer month or red, white, and blue for the 4th of July. We did it for orange for when the Bobcats were winning basketball and football games and, and different contests. So we're really proud of that. They got an award for being the spirit award, the construction of it, the repainting of it. The, it was built in 1928. And so it's something that we're gonna keep around a long time that's part of our heritage and really outstanding job by staff to really bring that thing back to life. And it's been a great focus and social point for our town. The third thing we wanna talk about is approval of the budget and relocating funds. We understand that our city is a very safe city, but can continue that process, we gotta continue hiring firemen and police officers. And so we were able to relocate some funds to be able to get a new officer that's hired that's gonna really be out in the community and, and an outreach program, so to speak, or an outreach officer, where he'll be, he's a licensed peace officer, but he'll be out really listening to the community, what their needs are, what their concerns are, and really working with HOAs to keep in our community as safe as we can get. And lastly, we created an arts ordinance tonight. What that's gonna allow us to do is put money in a fund as we continue to grow as a city to work on our arts. We think to be a well-rounded city, arts are a very important part of our culture. And so we're gonna continue by making that ordinance tonight. We're gonna to be able to put some funds in there to really work on our arts program and really pop our downtown and all around Salina as we grow for our arts program. So that's kind of a recap of our March 10th meeting tonight. If you hadn't had a chance to get out, come look at our new digs. Come look at our new council chambers. They're awesome. But if you'd like to stay at home, please, please log on to Facebook, our website, and really watch from your comfort of your own home. And have a great March, and we'll see you next month.